Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy Dells. Brand new package in the mail. Let's unbox it. And shout out to Team Notification before I forget. All right, before I unbox these, I'm gonna let you know now. This video, I'm gonna show comparisons and do a bunch of other stuff. So I will put a time code in the description box so you could skip right to the on foot if you came here just for the on foot. Now let's unbox these babies. I'm an addict for snitches. All right, so here we go. Got these from Nike. And they are available now still to this day. They are available right now. You can buy these. I put information in the description box below. I did a review on them already. An early review. They were a legit pair. I we got them right here. A lot of times when I order, I got no luck. They don't come out right. They're messed up, they got flaws. So let's hope that that's not the case with these. Show you the actual tag real quick. This is the Air Jordan 6 in black, black, and white. Retailed for 190 bucks. I was actually able to get these for under retail and I'm happy about that because like thing about this sneaker is the Air Jordan 6 in general I own every single colorway ever of this shoe so I had to own this like I'm collecting these I wear them all but I collect them all so this released I need this in my collection I am not the biggest fan of this shoe but I like this sneaker. So it's basically an all black Jordan 6. I don't really have nothing like that. There's the Laker 6, the Lakers. I decided to dig it up. You see how that is the contrast stitching of the Laker colors. This was a pack that Jordan released years ago. Kind of rubbing it in that, you know, Jordan defeated them. <laughs> they did it with the Detroit also. They had a Detroit colorway. This one right here, this one's gonna work on foot. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of certain things, like, like the fact that this is only reflective and it's not reflective here by the toe. The reflective is only on the back and, and not in the front. That's so strange. If it was up to me, I would have liked the reflective all over where the perforations were, not just on the back end. And um, on the pair I reviewed, it was really jacked up. This seems to be better, definitely. Even like over here was messed up on the pair I reviewed. If you wanna see that review, I'll put a pop-up somewhere on the screen. But yeah, I just think they went too crazy on the perforations, but on feet, they're gonna look great. I've seen people wear them already, and I'm like, yeah, these things look dope with the white hits. It's just the little, it's just this just bothers me. This didn't have to be. If they made this just like this, this full grain leather would have been a knockout the park, I think. I don't mind the perforations big like this. Just not over here. I think that that was a mistake. Um, basic shoe, black. Get this fucking, let me get this fucking cardboard out of here. Jesus, it takes like five people to get that out. <laughs> they make this so tight. They like put the sneaker in a chokehold with the sixes. I don't know why they got to tighten it so tight. Like, you trying to like kill the tongue or something? Trying to like choke that motherfucker? Like, holy shit. Unbelievable. I don't know why they do that. I'm like having trouble even getting the laces. Like, where are you laces? Like, where are you? There you are. Thing is, thing is tight, man. There we go. So, let's just get this out of here. Gotta loosen it up. Let this tongue. Let the tongue breathe a little, right? Shit. Come on. Bless you. You're welcome, babe. And, um, yeah, as I was saying, let's get in here. Got the black cat logo inside. Now the 13 that's coming out, I'll have a review of that soon. When I do, I'll have a pop-up on the screen so you can watch that review. But that should have that black cat logo, if I'm not mistaken, also. And um, I'm going to put these bad boys on feet and show you what they look like. And let me know what you think of them. But wait till I put them on feet first, because you may like them when they're on feet if you don't like them. 
just want to make sure the quality's right. Quality's better on this. The leather is not good though. It's like the leather doesn't feel good. It's not nice and soft. You know. From my understanding, Jordan doesn't really use any real leather. It's all synthetics. That's what I keep hearing. Of course, you got the two and the three here. For people that do not know with the history of the sneaker, might as well give you like a little history about it. Jordan loved the Porsche back when this released, so this right here is supposed to represent the Porsche spoiler. And I wish they had a white hit right there. I would have liked that. I know a lot of people wouldn't, but that's just me. I like when there's a color hit right there. And, and let me throw these on my feet. Let's do an off foot look. I just can't I just can't believe it. I keep looking at this. Look how they choked out these damn Jordans, man. They choking them out. It's like UFC over here, man. WWE. Choking these damn kicks out. <laughs> now, I'm going to do one more thing before I show you them on feet. I know I just told you I was going to show you them on feet, but I know anyone who's, like, really into Jordans, who's, like, a real sneakerhead... Like, if you don't know about this shoe, you'll still appreciate it. Because I wanted to see this comparison. I wanted to see a comparison with the Motorsport 6. Really cool pair of kicks. Got that little hit on the back. And the 23s on the other side of the shoe. Definitely real different with your elephant print lining. Black outsole and then that tinted icy sole. And as you know, these have a tinted icy sole also. So I wanted to do just a quick comparison. Anyone that really loves the sixes definitely appreciates this because you know we know all the sixes and I'm sure it's been a question on your mind because this is like a really dark tint it's not black you could see through it kind of but it's definitely not like this and it's not because of the lighting either I'll put that like that and that like that you can see You can see the difference. There's definitely a difference. Now, let me put these on feet for real now. <laughs> so here we go with a look on feet. There is some echo. It's cold as hell outside. The wind is crazy. It's just not gonna come out right if I don't shoot it anywhere else. This room got the best lighting. We in the bathroom. See, we're in the bathroom. I'm not, I'm not kidding right now. <laughs> we got good light in here. From that window to over here, we got good lighting in this bathroom. Throw them in the bathroom! What movie is that from? Put them in the bathroom! Let mush and see. Corojito. Leave your comment in the box. Let me know if you know what that is. I'm sure a lot of you guys will know what that is. Real popular movie. Real popular gangster movie. I'm not going to say what it is. I know my viewers. My viewers got good taste. They're going to know what movie that is. I have faith in you guys. Besides the fact the person who's using the tool to put the perforations got a little excited, got a little too um, crazy with it. <laughs> They're pretty nice on feet. They look way better on feet than in your hand. And this is supposed to be on your feet. So, you know. I recommend them. I'll put information in the description box as far as the fit go true to size. Definitely go true to size. I don't recommend going up half the size. If you have a narrow foot, you could probably even go down half the size. I think they're dope. On feet. Right? I just, it's, you know, it's just this. And I'm a perfectionist. Like, I don't like seeing something that could have been like a nine. You know, to me, this is like a, a 7, 8. It could have been a 9, you know. Maybe even a 9.5 if it didn't have all those perforations on the toe. And they put the 3M over here. To me, that just makes no sense whatsoever. But leave your comments. I love reading them. Subscribe if you're new. Shout out to Team Notification. If you don't know what that is, next to the subscribe button, you hit the bell and you join Team Notification. Every time I post a video, bang, you get notified immediately. So shout out to Team Notification. I see you. I see you guys writing that in the comments. So I've noticed that and now I'm recognizing Team Notification. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. You know, I've been seeing people wearing these, and I'm like, I kind of want these, man. I'm waiting and waiting for Nike to mail them, and I'm happy that Nike actually sent me shoes that actually are good. Like, you know, usually I've been buying them. They got scuffs on them. The paint's chipped. If you watch the show, you know, I, I don't have the greatest luck ordering sneakers on. That's it for today's video. Before we go, you know I gotta hit you with that infamous bird's eye view. View, 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 view. I'm gonna put a pop up to my Air Jordan 6 collection. Watch it if you love Air Jordan 6s. You'll love it. I show almost every Jordan 6. It's an old video. Hit that thumbs up button if you want me to redo it. Show the new Jordan 6s I've got in the past year or so. We out of here. My spins out, DJ Dell's TV, in flex we trust, now it's a must, I keep a fresh pair and they never scuff, alpha dollars, euros, pesos, 